What's up, everybody? Welcome to Kraken Hunters. I'm Carolina Hitman, and I got another ultimate figure from NECA to review for you all today. And uh, I'm reviewing one of my favorite movie creatures of all time here today. And we got the ultimate stripe figure from NECA. Now, of course, anybody who has never doesn't know who Stripe is, he's from the movie Gremlins, as you can see on the box. But if you haven't seen Gremlins, Shame on You is one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time. Don't let anyone tell you different. Because if it happens on Chris, if the movie happens on Christmas, damn it, it's a Christmas movie. Now, me and my fiance have had plenty of debates about this. It's a Christmas movie. But anyways, but um, of course, like you said, Netflix always does a good job on their art boxes. Rotate it around to give y'all a good look. And uh, on the back, it gives you all the like the different poses and different ways you can pose uh, Stripe himself. And of course, they got the fame, the good movie scene. I love that scene, man, in that movie. Because Stripe, man, Stripe's a dick. Like, even when he was just a regular Mogwai and not a gremlin, he, st he was a dick. And that's why I like him. All right, so let's crack this open. And of course, everybody knows one of, my, one of the main things I love about NECA is the fact that they let you see the figure before you purchase it. So that's always one of my main things I love about NECA figures, especially the ultimate ones. And you can tell the... The packaging is made with collectors in mind to where you can just show off to people what he looks like but still keep that collector type feel to it by keeping him inside the box. But um, yeah, so y'all can see what he looks like. I think it's time for us to crack it open. Let's see what all, all the accessories because I'm excited to talk about this one today. So uh, let's crack it open. All right, so we got the figure out the box now. And uh, I will say this, NECA did an amazing job. Like. They did a really damn good job on making this figure look exactly like Stripe. So I'm going to give y'all, let me, Mogwai. But um, as you can see, man, they did a really good job on his eyes. Really good job. His mohawk, or I guess it's a mohawk. You can open his mouth a little bit, not, not a lot, but a little bit. And so you got the articulation. Now this one is a little stiff because it's brand new. But you got the articulation here, at the bend of the elbows, like I said, both sides. Uh, this one, this wrist does not bend, it just rotates right here. And so this, this, this one rotates, but it is able to bend a little, let's see, uh, which one is it? Is it one of them is, uh, okay, well anyways, uh, they just rotate. No, there, no, there it goes, there it goes. So this one, as you can see the articulation right here, so this one you can bend, but the other one you cannot. Got the articulation at the waist, but this one's a little stiff because like I said, this is just brand new out of the box. So you can move it a little bit so I haven't had to use, eventually use a hair dryer to loosen it up a little bit, but she's going back in the case anyway after I'm done. The articulation right at the joints, right here and here on both legs, right here at the waist. So you can move it up and down a little bit, his neck, I said, and you got the articulation right here. Now, I'm not sure. Now, the only thing I'm not clear on is this part right here because it's like a little flat. So I can't remember because it's been a while since I've seen, um, it's been a while since I've seen Gremlins. And I can't remember if he, if this is part of his back, which I think it is, if I remember correctly. So I'm not sure what they were going for right there. And I didn't realize Spike had a mullet. <laughs> but paint application is amazing and damn good. You even have articulation in his ears right there on both ears but like I said for me one of the main things I really appreciate them doing correctly is his eyes man because it has that gloss feeling to it as you can see right there on both eyes it just looks glossy and looks like real eyes and it looks it looks like Spike and I mean I'm saying that's Spike Stripe because I know a lot of people are under the impression he was called Spike but nope his name is Stripe so like I said they did an amazing job on the paint articulation and that face sculpt. So that face sculpt is the highlight for me. Then we have, we got the skateboard, which actually has rolling wheels, as you can see. Ah, let's roll this one back there, there we go. We got the buzz saw blade. And then we have the chainsaw, which they did a really good job on making this look like an actual chainsaw. Um, I don't, I can't remember if you plugged in or not which would defeat the purpose of a chainsaw, to be honest with you. Why would a chainsaw have to be plugged in? That really defeats the purpose of a chainsaw. But, 
Spike had it, it's cool. But yeah, as you can see, they did a really good job on making sure all the names, all the letters, like it's really detailed, to be honest with you. Let me say get the plug right here. Now, Spike didn't come with a lot of accessories because really Spike didn't use that many. Oh, I'm sorry, keep, keep, I keep wanting to call him Spike. It's Stripe, everybody, forgive me. But um, Stripe didn't come with a lot of accessories, just the main ones that he's, he's known for inside the movies. You know, the chainsaw, the blade he threw at Gizmo, and the skateboard, which he sucks skateboarding, by the way. He's not a good skateboarder. Then um, I would say this is a one, I think 112 figure, so I would imagine this is true to size as far as 112. So that's as close as they can get it, I guess, because uh, they have a gizmo one, and I'm thinking about getting that one too, but we'll see what happens. Time will tell. But I think this is an awesome figure, man. Like I say, if, if, you, got, if you love NECA figures, there's no reason why you, to, you wouldn't want to pick this one up, especially if you're a fan of Gremlins as well. So, yeah, this, like I said, this is amazing. And I hope, I hope NECA continues to do a good job. Um, uh, one of my subscribers, well, a couple of them actually, told me about the Mex Mexico figures, which I, I looked on some of those and I may pick up a couple of those to review for you all because I saw some of them and they do look, they're like hot toys, but for a budget. But yes, man, like I said, I'm just giving y'all some extra views right here. Like I said, I think this is amazing. Like this is a really good figure. So like I said, if you love NECA, if you love Gremlins, there's no reason why as a collector of things like this, there's no reason why it shouldn't be in your collection. So I recommend picking this up. I'd give this an A plus. But everybody, like I can say this is this is really a short one. There's really not much to talk about because he didn't come to, with um, too many fit, too many accessories. But this is going to be short. So everybody, I just thank y'all for joining me on another NECA, um, NECA figure review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to get notified of our future videos. But I'm Carolina Hitman. Thank y'all for joining us on this NECA Ultimate um, Strike Review. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.